Welcome everyone to Carol Worldwide. We started talking about something and it's not a direct show topic, but Randy, here's my theory on why this online stuff fascinates me. And we go back to the meta sometimes, right? The meta reasons why I think it's so funny. But I think the person you are online is more the person you really are. I don't think so because I know I'm the exact same person online as I am in person. Yeah, but that's because you're like well adjusted and like know yourself. I'm um, yeah, right. I agree with you, Dennis. I think that the person that you are online, if you're not the same person in reality when you meet you on the street, the person you are online is the person who you actually are. So you're more guarded and have your mask on in person of more than you do. Of course you do, because you have a sales job or you have children in school or you at least know how to function among the other human beings. Right, so you're buffered by the need the, to function among other human beings, where online you're like... Yeah, no buffer so, at all. So you're more id. Yeah, you're, well, you're more who you are online. Yeah, absolutely. You're, you're unshackled. Yes. That's horrifying, because I know some people that are very creepy online. Who aren't in person, and I was hoping it was a, an act. Mm -mm. I don't think it is. There, there are a few people that may do a specific affectation, like, and they just may run it through. And but I'm not saying it's a hundred percent, but those are the exception, not the norm. There might be someone whose like a Facebook page is like Wacky D, and they like have like a <laughs> shtick or whatever. You, you follow know? Wacky D also? Oh yeah, Wacky D. <laughs> they like have a shtick, and it's like clearly a shtick, and it's like a shtick maybe they would do in person. Oh, but yeah, they don't. Yeah, do. they're a character, right? That's, caricature or something. That's a shtick, right? Right. And but that's not. I don't think I have a single Facebook friend that is that way. But I think it's Dude. because it's basically like, if 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 there wasn't rules, if we didn't live in a society, this is what you would be. Yes, exactly. This is what you would be. It's the same people that do the online reviews of restaurants, <clears throat> right? And say the most horrible things they could possibly say that they would never say to your face, right? They're hiding behind the anonymity of the internet. And it's not even anonymous anymore. It's just uh, the repercussions are limited. Yes. It's not because Facebook, to be fair, mostly not anonymous. But the you can control your keyboard warrior, mm -hmm. right? You just don't feel like there's consequences. There are some broken people out there, if that's the case. Oh, you, you, still, you still seem dubious. <laughs> you still seem dubious. What's your theory, then? You, maybe I'm wrong. Um, I haven't thought about it. I don't really have a theory. I thought that people might just be uh, acting up a little bit, like going outside of their, like being a, a, a little, like a little bit of a character online, and not so much. But that's what you do. You, no, I don't. I'm, you you have like a, you do like a little shtick sometimes. I'll do it in person too. Yeah, I know, but that's like that's because that's what you are. You will you you're, you're like you're mm -hmm. like looking for the comedy sometimes. So you'll like you'll okay. like you'll like do your shtick. So Facebook people can get pretty ugly on, or they can get pretty disturbing on. Twitter they get really disturbing on. Well, so is that even more? Is there no nothing, no mask? Well, you have a limited amount of uh, characters, Twitter, right? But, but, I mean, Facebook started off as a college kid saying, like, for old millennials, and is now, like, a, basically a boomer thing. It's like a boomer and Gen Xer thing. Okay, boomer. Yeah. You've got to include Gen Xer, because I refuse to be blumped in with the boomers. I said Gen Xer. Okay. I said that, just but it's like to, uh, Gen Z and younger boomer, not younger boomers, <laughs> younger millennials are not really on, doing Facebook as their main thing. No, they're not. And and so Twitter is where that crowd and, is, Instagram. and the gram. Yeah, and Snapchat. And TikTok. Sna Snapchat premium. TikTok's the new thing. TikTok. The, all it's, the, it's like what Vine would have been, right? Right. Yeah, I, I stay way away from that because all the ads I see for that have like some 13-year-old girl in a skimpy little outfit dancing around. Oh, my I'm God. Like, oh my yeah, God, you, yeah, you should probably avoid that, Randy. No, no, do not right, have so it on my phone. I've given you some like very high-level homework. I need you to come back God. with a competing internet theory or accept mine. Oh, I, I'd more... First of all, I kind of don't care, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, okay. But I would more likely accept yours because mine doesn't make as much sense the more I think about it. Yeah. This is like, this is the but world. But yours scares me. I mean, what? It's what a scary world, Randy. What, 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 what has ever led you to believe this world isn't? So like, I don't know. I, I think back to like Randy's ancient. Randy's a comedian. I think back to no. ancient. You can, well, there's the comedian and there's the being a comedian. And you think back to ancient times. Like, it used to be like. You could just be like living in a hut and the Mongols would ride over the hill and like kill your whole village and you never would have heard of them. They're like complete aliens. And like that threat still yeah. exists, but it's not aliens, it's just us. It was different times back then. But I guess it's like when you meet somebody new and they're really nice and great and the more you get to know them, 
you see their dark side. I guess people are just going right to their dark side on social media. Well, I mean, everyone just like brings in their preconceived baggage. It's like, oh, you're some lib cuck. I got to set you straight. Or like, you're like a fascist in jackboot, so I have to set you straight. <laughs> right? Like, you just like yeah, assume. You just, you, just, you just like put their little cookie cutter image in your brain and then it's like not even a person the one thing i'm thankful for is i see so many political arguments from these like extremists that um i walk away like wow my mind has been changed i get it it's really good <laughs> that was I the mean, first joke of the day it's uh that was a good one yeah it's it's strange that you're both a fascist and a communist but <laughs> i mean you do you <laughs> oh i do okay so anyway that was our aside that we started talking about before the podcast started so this is near and dear to our hearts because our main platform is the internet. What internet do you recommend? <laughs> 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 mill.net or dot .mil. Remember that, remember that one? No. The very I used, first internet. I, I used CompuServe for a long time. CompuServe. Uh, yeah, I used uh, Prodigy mm -hmm. for a while. How many AOL discs did you have back in the oh, day? So many. We had an AOS disc, AOL disc fight with some of my friends in high school. We had like 100 of them. T took them and used them as throwing stars. Mm. They were so. What's a good use of them? They're yo so ubiquitous. And the handshake. Yeah. The handshake of the modem. I mean, I can remember trying to coordinate in seventh grade playing uh, a game of uh, modem to modem with a friend like this. I like pong, and it took seven hours. It was this. Um, <laughs> it's uh, many different <laughs> occasions, but the one that like I can remember, my dad just wanting to be so done with it because I like called him in for help was like. <laughs> this um civil war battle game and like me and this one guy were like obsessed with trying to connect to it we, like n i don't think we got more than like five minutes of the game before it would crash every time <laughs> i just love the way she worded that like i'm guessing she Wait, meant so explain to what's going on well she, the woman wrote on i think westminster online community what's your favorite internet <laughs> everybody was like yep the internet is the best probably she was probably talking about provider. ISP. I think she meant provider. Yeah. Well, we know what our favorite. We know what our favorite is. Ting. That's right. Crazy, Ting. crazy fast internet. Yep. Mm -hmm. Love them. Yep. Um. But yeah, I thought that was funny. I mean, it was very clear what she's driving at. But the f the wording was great. She just said, "Okay, boomer." Yeah. It was like when somebody wrote, "Does anybody <laughs> know any cl any clothing altercations or tutors?" <laughs> tutors. Yes. <laughs> so I, I like the internet too. It's a good one. Um. So I feel like we have a lot of this episode is about men and women, right? Because like you're you're obsessed with AutoZone because it stretches back to a divorce and that came up again. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, it is something that I heard not your divorce secondhand, right? But the story is the, per, warning. This may be just like an urban myth. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm gonna we, I'll preface it by saying I I heard it secondhand, but the story is the owners of AutoZone and Advanced Auto Parts are a divorced couple. And when one opens somewhere, I love the story. The other one opens very close by, <laughs> side, and they try to put each other out of business. Usually, it's the the auto zone. I'm guessing is owned by the ex wife. Opens wherever Careful. there's wherever there's an advanced auto parts. Now, careful, Icarus. Mm -hmm. Whenever I go to like an established town or city, uh -huh. and I see one of those, I always look for the other one, and I always see it. Now, somebody said there's there's an auto zone coming in. To this place in Mount Airy, they posted it. Mm -hmm. That's all they said. And I said, "Is there an advanced auto parts nearby?" And they said, "Yes." There you go. Well, one hundred percent. I do know it lacks the color of your explanation, but that Home Depot and Lowe's, they have the same criteria for like what makes a outlet successful, and so they often fall on the heels of one another because it's like we need. This much building, this many people, this sort of like traffic through, and so if it's like good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Now well, that's pot. That that would be a possible explanation, other than Eldersburg well, only has a Home Depot. Right. I'm not saying it's the rule, but I mean, Mar uh, not Maryland. Westminster had Lowe's and Home Depot soon after. And Timonium. Mm -hmm. They're literally in each other's parking back parking lots. Right. S same in Timonium. Yeah. Well, I think I think Lowe's was there. Lowe's was in the walmart like location it was for a while yeah but now they're together right now there they're... wasn't a that was before there was a home depot right that's right so like lowe's was there for a while but that's another but you're right they do seem to build on the hills one another and i love the explanation but i have a different theory of home home depot and lowe's well but i want to back up you said you think it's the ex-wife that's building near the ex-husband yeah 
Well, I want to know why. Damn, you think no, I don't want to tell you why, because Sherry's sitting right here. I think because the ex-wife is usually the one that's more petty. Ow! <laughs> you know... <laughs> Just I call okay. You flew a little too close. You trying to fly close to the sun? Yes, there, Randy? it's fine. Fine. I'll, now I'll I know deal why with he's it. got. Now I'll I'll why he's it. dressed in layers. He's got a vest, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you just give him a big body blow. He's a little bit more cushioned. Mm -hmm. In addition to those rippling muscles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, I think that's what I heard though. That she owns the auto zone. <laughs> I mean, there's the advanced <laughs> auto parts just sitting there, so, existing. So Mine, it's sitting on the couch. Because mining it, she's a woman, she's <laughs> petty. I don't know. I haven't known very many petty ex-husbands. <laughs> oh, my God. Would you like to meet mine? Is he petty? Oh, yes. <laughs> is he is he more petty than Richard? He's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you asked, and I had to answer. I didn't bring it up. <laughs> I mean, you. it was implied, so I wanted to know the logic. Yes, yes, that's what I think. I mean, it'll be really funny if there's absolutely nothing so to So what this. do we call Randy? Oh, so it's that's on Brandy. That's, that's, a that's Randy, on Brandy. That's a Randy stereotype. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. on Brandy. Well, not all stereotypes are on Brandy, but like this kind of thing. like That's on Brandy. Women are from Venus on Randy. and men on are from Mars. On Brandy. Yes. Yeah, I yeah. definitely agree with that. Men are from, from Mars and women are from Venus. On Brandy. Mm -hmm. That guy's on to something. <laughs> it's not a good or bad thing. It's just different. <laughs> no, saying something like all ex-wives are petty is definitely not a bad thing. Well, maybe they ha maybe the men had all. it coming. Most. Maybe what? Maybe the men had it coming. Oh, well. Hmm. Who knows? I mean. Wait, it's advanced auto parts and AutoZone. Yes. Those things and PetSmart and what's the other? Petco. Petco. No, no way you'll ever get me to remember which one's which. I'll walk into one of those places. I'll be like. And walk out and i'll be i don't know there's both in westminster i know that they're both in different locations and i can drive to either yeah. location but if you tell me to go to pet smart i'll say 50 50 shot of me getting there i'm not sure which one is which either that's why i go to a, a locally owned pet store which one do you go to i go to bowman's yeah mm -hmm. so we, we have just the, picked up some flowers we have the there. auto store thing we have the pet store thing and we have home depot lowe's what if all of these are owned by the, the same parent company and they're just doing this hyper monopoly to try to fool everybody by making you think you have a choice. Blowing my mind. And the ex-wife married story is completely made up. I mean, there's a high possibility that that's completely made up. I mean, that seems like something that just is a, one of your fever dreams when you're doing your uh, stand-up. No, somebody thing. told me this. I did not make that up. But I think the more likely People is say I have the best business ideas. <laughs> <laughs> some people are saying uh-huh are people saying that people are saying mm. building some buzz well i mean it's also funny because we could just like pause this and look it up online but let's not no well, well you know i fact I, check us audience. i have looked it up and i couldn't find any facts on it <laughs> <laughs> mm. that's what you, you should have led with well i said i heard it secondhand <laughs> I, I didn't know. say this is what happened i know you did but it is a it is a big thing to give someone the illusion of choice and that that's what i think about home depot and lowe's i think that about RC and Coke, and I definitely think it, this is a big one, about the entire auto industry. Hold up. RC Holy. and Coke? You're putting RC. Coke and Pepsi, sorry. <laughs> R you're put, you, I was going to say, you're going to put RC as the Coke alternative? What maybe maybe they're they all free on make RC anymore? I don't know, Tab? You know what I'm little <laughs> Tab? all made by the same company. <laughs> I mean, you could be right. I mean, you're not right. I mean, the Coke and Pepsi are happy to have each other because... Just like the Republicans and Democrats are. Because as long as they're number one and number two, one of them will take a turn, turn in the sun and no one else will. And you can live with that dynamic, right? Mm -hmm. It's way better than just having the law of the jungle where there's 15 of you and anyone can go tits up in a week, right? So, yeah. I mean, there's definitely something to it. But whether it's like a shadowy monopoly that's like literally that way or Lowe's and Home Depot and Coke and Pepsi and Republicans, Democrats are all like, hey, my turn will come because there's only two of us. You know, I think that's absolutely true. Yeah. The illusion of choice. The illusion of choice. But this all started off with a petty wife taking a husband's business idea. And we have women fighting back in another venue here, Randy. Yeah, finally. 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 Started on Thanksgiving. It looks like a woman bit a guy. Okay, so this is, this is Carroll County Times police blotter stuff. Yeah, these all these stories came from the Carroll County Times. Now, did none of these things happen to you? Lots of assaults. Not yet. <laughs> Sherry's looking at you like you might be next on the list. <laughs> you might be. So anyway, a woman bit a guy 
Oh, these are the notes. Okay. On Thanksgiving. Uh huh. That's all I know. I didn't read the story. I couldn't read the story because was I he being click a turkey? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was like every single comment on the thread. <laughs> well, they don't have a podcast. <laughs> no, <laughs> they, no, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. I don't know the full story. Also, a woman, uh, a woman attacked a couple of cops. Like she, she pushed one and kicked another one. It, oh. Not, not, a, not a huge assault, but still, a woman attacking a man. <laughs> so they're fighting back. Now they're fighting back so much that the next two assaults I read about were man on man assaults. Oh. Yeah, better not so pick on the ladies. I think the men are saying, "Whoa, I'm not going to bother." Assaulting women, I'm just going to assault another man. And one guy assaulted another man, or threatened him with a knife. Mm-hmm. And then another guy assaulted. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Assaulted, but he assaulted another man in a uh, parking lot nearby. The mm-hmm. funny thing is, like everybody involved has the same exact mug shot. They all have like one eye mostly closed, and they look like they just woke up, like that Nick Nolte picture from years ago. <laughs> it's probably they a- all look. Like, what's what's the eye thing? Probably abuse of substances. Is that what it does? I wouldn't know. I don't think it does it, but like if you have like if you're like living life in like a drug induced stupor, you probably have a a look. I mean, haven't you seen heroin addicts in Baltimore? They have a look. Maybe no. they just have a really bad photographer at the jail. Yeah, just not, they just need to get a glamour shot. They do. They need to start. C- could you ramping up the game? I've got a new idea for a charity. Okay. Okay. We can even call it a charity. Okay. <laughs> two 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 prongs. One. You come in and you do you read the erotic letters to the inmates. Mm-hmm. Two, you like provide free glamour shots after the mug shot to okay. like boost the self esteem <laughs> back up. You like here when they when they so show you this mug shot, that's not the real you. Mm-hmm. But this, you push it across the is, table. This is your PR mug shot. This is the real you. This is yeah. the one that they're. I kinda- wonder what advice like uh, defense attorneys would give about like how your mug shot should look. I, clearly none <laughs> well i mean you don't have your defense attorney's not there right there or like um a jury expert or something you know what always rubs me the wrong way is when someone's in a mug shot and they're smiling mm-hmm. look a little bit like psychopath because to me that just screams i'm guilty and i think it's funny that you're taking my mug shot and now i'm going to jail Ugh. Ugh, that's unless unless you're doing well if you're doing it for a protest thing of course that's what you want to do of course but if it's assault and battery or rape or pedophilia then oh, maybe you should not be that's smiling that's what i was thinking there's one guy that had that last one and he had a look on his face like yeah that's right i did that oh <laughs> yeah it's the worst yeah but yeah if it's like the the frank the famous frank sinatra mugshot where he's smiling and looking dapper and mm-hmm. you know his blue eyes are twinkling that's funny mm-hmm. well, what was that for what did he do I don't know, probably drunk and disorderly or, I don't know, racketeering. I don't know. Between being a megastar and being mobbed up, he was like, this is not going to stick. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> they got nothing on me. Like, those guys were like, I don't think they, they even are celebrities as big as those guys were, like Rat Pack. Not anymore. Yeah. It's yeah. a bygone era. Before the Facebook, let me tell you about how internet's ruined America from the internet, boomer. Wh- which internet? The internet, my favorite internet. So The it, internet. I, th- I think, are you are you done with uh, Men Are From Mars? Well, we were so close with that, and then uh, I think yesterday, the day before, a man did assault a woman. He pulled her hair and pushed her up against a railing. Okay, so we're back to it. Yeah, we maybe, were so close. Maybe she was being petty. Oh, you're saying she deserved it? No, Randy, I'm saying wow. maybe stereotypes. Well, are sure, bad. did you hear that? Stereotypes are bad. I did hear that. No, he could have just been a very violent guy on drugs. <laughs> Not that I know, because I'm a very good, clean person with perfect blood. Honey, what is, where's the perfect blood thing? I don't know. Are you a, a vampire <laughs> feast? I don't have any drugs okay. in me. Perfect <clears throat> vampires of the Would world like out some? there. Randy says he's got perfect blood. I'd like yeah. to get. I'd like to get a review from the count. From the count? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dracula, not the count from Sesame Street. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I think you're done with that. I hope you're done with that. I think you're done with that. Yeah, I am. Uh, so <laughs> I was so I was super excited because it's it is how are the road season? It's officially begun because we got a dusting of snow Tuesday to Wednesday, and I saw the first posts of people driving in with snow picks. How are the roads? It's how are the road season? Did you see the admin of the Hampstead, Maryland group though? Trolled her own group. No, she wrote how are the roads. <laughs> Hey, and I was like, "That's, that's, good that's pretty her. good." Yeah. Well, how are the road season? This is this was like when we were first 
um, doing it with Steve. This was our very first episode ever. We yeah. just went around the table asking, how are the roads? Yeah. For 10 minutes. Was this with Jason, too? Yeah. Okay. How are the roads today? No. Mm-mm. No? No. Nah, ends here. Okay. But I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> this, is, this is one that was near dear to my so heart. So we had that dusting <clears throat> of snow. What is, that was yesterday morning, right? Yeah. So we get up, you know, and, and the kids get up in the dark to go to school, to get on the bus. And uh, Sebastian looks out the window and he goes, oh, do we have a delay? I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. It's, you use the internet, can't you? It's so a that- quarter of an inch mm-hmm. dusting. Mm-hmm. And the roads are totally dry. Did you know that was going to happen? No, I had no idea <clears throat> it was going to happen. Guess who did know? Who knew? Carroll County School Predictions. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. They called it the night before, and I was like, they what? They called what? They called a 20% ch- chance of a delay and 10% chance of a closing due to a dusting in the morning. They called it the night before at around 8 or 9 o'clock. Carroll County School Predictions. Wow. Carroll County School Closing Predictions. Isn't that Which, kind of like a parody account? Yes, it is a parody account. But, but it's become real. Yeah. It has become real wow. and accurate. Just like some presidential campaigns. I think they, <laughs> I think they were accurate all, all last winter. They like nailed it. Nail it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm so pumped. And then there is much gnashing of the teeth because we have a new business coming in and people have different ideas. At, in Sykesville. In Sykesville on 32. By the, the Pizza Hut. By the Pizza Hut. Yeah, was it? Which once was a Pizza Hut. Yeah. What are they putting in? 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, right. People are not interested. What about a Costco? Right there? Yeah. What about, yeah, Costco, like, satellite? Mm-hmm. I mean, 7-Eleven's whatever. How about an AutoZone? Advanced. Auto par- advanced Auto a, Parts. How about an advanced, advanced AutoZone? Advanced AutoZone. What if they got back together, Randy? <laughs> oh, yes. wouldn't that be a sweet story? Oh. <laughs> if they get married again. We've reconciled. Oh. No, they probably what if what if they got divorced but due to monopoly laws, they now must live like uh publicly opposed lives because if they were remarried, antitrust would break them apart again. The advanced Put that heat of the night music in right here. It sounds like this the starts of a, a romance novel, I think. Oh man. If yeah. they got back together though and formed a superstore, the auto zone part would be like seventy percent and the advanced part would be like thirty percent. Why? Because like when you're sleeping in the same bed, she takes up half, most of the bed. You really just want to get mm-hmm. punched today, don't mm-hmm. you? How is that a bad thing? So you're saying that they assert their dominance? Yes. Okay. Uh. All right. So a lot of silence. I'm going to be cutting out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a pregnant pause. Okay. Pregnant, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, I think that's all the big. Oh, was this a joke or was this real? Were you? Did you get some letters from jail? I uh, I did. I was able to get my hands on one of the um, the letters. Oh, really? That, so was, that got um, it w- that was too hot for jail. Too hot for jail. The the title of last episode. So I thought maybe if you guys are interested, I could read it for you today in my sexiest voice. Now, who wrote the letter to whom? Um, I'm not going to reveal that. No, no was it like somebody reveal. from the outside? There, yeah, someone, outside in. Someone, yeah, it's outside in. Okay. So, you guys want to hear a uh, super sexy letter? I mean, with bated wa- breath. Wanted to, I'm I'm morbidly curious, right? This is like a car accident. I, I can't imagine it's going to like make my life better, but I d- I can't say no. Okay. Here we go. Here you go. Dear inmate F6969. <laughs> <laughs> I've been longing for your cock ass and the way you fuck fuck my g and fuck, fuck, she ass. Please write me again soon, <laughs> so we can continue ass, she fuck, fucking. Also, I want to delve into the idea of fucking ass, she while fucking, longing for you with ass, she fucks, x x x x. Well, I could see why that was maybe too hot for jail. Mm. It's too hot for this room. <laughs> You guys need to open a window, a little ventilation. You gonna be okay? Ask Randy about that. Dennis, put your pants back on. <laughs> I just don't. I just just like newscasters. I just make it a habit not to wear pants. That's a water days. bottle, for God's sake. Uh. <laughs> do we do, do, wait? Do, are you doing a top ten list too? I do have a top ten list. Do we have anything else before that? Do we want? Do we want to talk about? I think that's it. That was all on your list. I have Dennis. My Dennis meme. 
Oh, because I made the home goods meme, but I don't like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was so cute. I loved that. Did everybody see that? So did every did that really happen? You, you that I, I absolutely that absolutely happened. I absolutely make all the returns now. I've done that for like probably three years. So your wife went to Home Goods mm. and she bought a bunch of stuff and she decided she didn't want it anymore. Right. And you had to return it. No, I I choose to return it. Because I've had some, I've, there was a few instances where some things didn't get returned and then they got like super right. degraded in terms of their return dollars. I was like, the minute you're done with them, I'm sending them back. I, your wife is a genius. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love that. She's, she's, she's got you well trained. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. I, 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 I ship things back from Amazon too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, because if I don't want to, I don't want to own the thing I don't want to own anyway. <laughs> It's good getting them bits back. Wait a minute, aren't things happening in 2020 at Birdies? Well, oh yeah, we could talk about that mm -hmm. too. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, it is, and that long 2000, overdue. 2020, that's like Blade Runner territory. Mm -hmm. So January second, um, it's a Thursday, right? It's a Thursday evening <laughs> at the cafe. We're gonna have an open mic comedy night with a comedy feature local comedian Terry McDonald. Mm, that's gonna be good. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be fantastic. So I hope everybody can come out to check it out. Hopefully, Randy will be there. Yeah, let me tell you. I, it's I, an open. It's an open mic. Yeah, it's. We're and gonna is he? But is is? But he's. Is he like the headliner? Is yeah. Yeah. Terry's going to finish up the show for us, so uh, everybody can get up and do the open mic, and then feel really bad about themselves when Terry gets up and finishes the show. He. Uh, we did a show a couple years ago, or several years ago, at Two Doors Down in Manchester. Mm -hmm. Now that place is in the basement. It's got a concrete floor. I've never seen people laugh so hard at a comedian before. He destroyed that place to the point where the ground was shaking from people laughing and oh, banging wow. on the tables. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, he's he's an atomic bomb. Great. Wow. It's going to be fun. And it's something to look forward to because you now get this really is, let down after the holidays. So Yeah. So this is the, what date again? It's January 2nd. Anybody can sign at, up, at right? The, anybody can come and sign up. Anybody listening, you think you're going to try your hand. That's a th Thursday. 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 Yes. Yeah. Starting at seven o'clock. Okay. So if anybody wants to try their hand at stand up, what do they get? Like three to five minutes, something yeah, like that? We're, we're gonna give people three to five minutes. Is he the MC as well? Um, I don't believe so. There's an a separate MC. Yeah, there's a separate MC. Because they gotta there like be, yeah. rope him off the stage. Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> right. Are you are you gonna perform or are you gonna attend? I will. I can. Wh which? Am I gonna well, perform or attend? Well if I'm performing, I'm also attending. Okay. So. That's a rectangle and square situation. Yes. You're going to perform. Yeah, I would like to, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, it's an open mic, so we can't stop you. If Sherry will have me. I will have you. Yay. And if I can also perform. You get oh, yeah, sure. Out. And if I can also do stand-up comedy. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe you're now like, uh, you're used to like the tender confines of the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> very tender. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then we still have the other thing, too. You have the mentalist. Oh, the mentalist is coming. Yeah, yeah. Are there Take, still seats available? There are a couple of seats still available. Only a couple. Yeah, not many. That's exciting. People are excited about it. So wow, this is gonna be a big thing. <clears throat> There's a link um, online on the Birdie's Facebook page where you can go and directly buy your tickets. So if you, you want to do a little mind reading, spiritualism, we'll link the events. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, on the our page too. That would be super cool. All right. They're already being shared everywhere. Well, thanks for the shout out, guys. Share right. Sherry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Now, top 10 list of. So, uh, these are the top 10 reasons for you to potentially be assaulted in a parking lot. Just, you know, kind of going back toward the whole. As you do. Blotter thing. Mm -hmm. So. Um, being a petty woman. That. That. <laughs> That was one of my ideas, mm -hmm. uh, but I decided not to say that out loud because I'm not an asshole. Okay. <laughs> you know, I once called myself petty. Did you? Yes. Once. I said Tom was less petty. I, I remember that from mm -hmm. one episode. Got myself out. <laughs> Number 10. You took your fight with an Italian restaurant owner um, over wait times to the next level. <laughs> you took it out into the parking lot. Uh, number nine. You ran off with a stolen pie. So good. Number eight, you cut in line at the McDonald's drive-thru. I know there's a lot. Oh, of, yeah, there's been a lot. Emerge. A lot of problems no, up there. No, not a laughing matter. Not, no laughing matter. 
Number seven, your toddler got out of the locked car and beat your ass at the Aldi. <laughs> As one does. Number six, you pulled up to a furniture store with a return. It's a great reason to get assaulted. If you have a guy and he has a guy. <laughs> Number five, you asked Sherry for a venti frappuccino. <laughs> That's suicidal. You're going to get assaulted for that. Mm -hmm. Assaulted caramel? Or is it caramel? <laughs> Oh my Can gosh. you settle it? Is that so funny? I literally just had this discussion with Kristen on the way here. It is caramel. It's, it's definitely not caramel. Caramel. The okay. flavor. What, it's, what's the flavor? It's spelled C A R A M E L. Caramel. But it, Mount Carmel Road. Well, that's, that's a, caramel. It's that's spelled caramel. Totally different thing. Yeah. What's what's the ice cream topping? Caramel. Caramel. But what happens when it snows and they put salt down on Mount Carmel Road? It's a salted caramel. <laughs> Oh, man, you've been waiting for that one. Been workshopping it all week. It's a good one. The, the best is when the people come in and ask for a caramel macchiati. Mm -hmm. Is that even something that you have? We have a drink called the caramel macchiato, uh -huh. mm -hmm. but we do not have a caramel macchiati. How many people ask for a grande or a venti? I would say it happens at least once a week. Oh, that's not much. Okay. <clears throat> and then I say to them, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't speak stupid. I'm going to come in and ask for a venti egg bites. <laughs> if you say I don't speak stupid, you may be worthy of less than a five-star review on Yelp. If you <laughs> I think that I know. in my head. I don't actually <laughs> say that. Hey, stupid. <laughs> and, you know, I get a lot of terrible reviews on a lot of different websites. But you get a lot of good ones. I do. I get a lot of good ones. You get a lot more good ones. <clears throat> the funny thing is every time they kind of – pick on somebody it's me they pick on because i tend to be a little snarky at times he's done a little bit i mean you know depending on the mood of the day right oh <laughs> damn that was a good one where'd you get that from i don't know it came to me in a dream <laughs> what where were we oh number four mm -hmm. number four it was randy's only way to get out of reading a whole comment <laughs> to assault somebody or get assaulted to either, yeah. to be assaulted or to assault someone. That's how you bailed. Somehow I'm thinking Randy's the one who's being assaulted. I guess. I don't know if we wrote the list that way, but after this episode, that's how it's coming out. Yeah. Uh, number three, your wife caught you returning all the stuff she bought at Home Goods. <laughs> there you go. Dennis. <laughs> no, now, just to be clear, this is with consent. This is not some weird I Love Lucy situation. <laughs> now it's not funny. Now it's not funny anymore. Number <laughs> I was, it, was, it said 90%. Number two. <laughs> number two, you fingered the wrong baked goods Oof. at Shoppers. Yeah. That's how you get assaulted. Mm -hmm. And the number Salted one way. Salted caramel donut. Because Biscuit is a stripper <laughs> over at the Boston Inn. <laughs> number one way. Or the number one reason to be assaulted in a parking lot. You tried to sh cheat a Shoppers hooker. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right. Anything else, Randy? Oh, so we've got we got Christmas and New Year's this year, like this few months. We got to figure out when we're going to record for those. If like our Wednesdays are screwed up, because New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve. I think we should do a live New Year's Eve, <laughs> a countdown, a countdown, and then we'll we'll release it on the second or something like that. That'll go. Over All right, real we well. got to workshop this. I'm having yeah. a huge party. You guys are welcome to come over and record. <clears throat> I party? will be drunk and or high. God. So that'll be fun. Can't you just come in here that yeah. way? On on New Year's Eve? No, no any day. Just on a Thursday. Well, who's going to drive me? 25th. Hmm. Okay. We got we to gotta figure out. This is not, that's not the next. I do not drive while I'm under the influence. That's good. There you go. That of was a anything. test. Okay. You, you've had somebody drive you before. I have, but Wonder he's not awake at this time of day. Oh. It's far too early for him. Hmm. Your driver. He's the kind of person who eats dinner at like 830 at night, you know? fancy pants mm -hmm. european yeah you're very european <laughs> all right i'm done i'm dennis twig i'm randy goldstein i'm sherry hospital joseph see ya